Hey everyone, it's Ivan, kitbadger.com. Out here today to tell you about the Surefire RC3 Rally. What the heck is the RC3 Rally? Well, Surefire has a pretty awesome way of basically running media events. By way of example, a while back, I had the good fortune of going to Tennessee Turbo Nights. Basically a three-day, more or less training evolution with a bunch of people from different media outlets. And it was centered around one being in Tennessee and Turbo Knights, so their new Turbo Flashlight. Three days of training with Kyle Lamb, Viking Tactics, amazing time out there. And it was the product release for their Turbo Lights. So RC3 Rally. This time, another media event up in the northern, yeah, north hills of New Hampshire, mountains, I guess we can call them. Super beautiful in the fall time, and it was held at Ridgeline as well as the Team O'Neill Rally School. So, three days of shooting with some rally cars in there and RC3. The release of their brand new RC3 suppressor. As a quick aside, if you're not starting a training evolution competition, something along those lines, in sleep deficit, you're wrong. So, through a uh, Basically a mix up in flights. I ended up actually flying into Boston at just after midnight with the event starting that following morning. Fortunately, a couple of the guys from Surefire, awesome guys, came down to pick me up for the like three plus hour drive back up to Northern New Hampshire, around Littleton, I wanna say. Totally getting that wrong, possible. And so yeah, got in a little after three, probably got to bed about 0:330 waking up at 07 to get started but ended up driving up there to ridgeline and yeah got after it initially a little bit of classroom stuff kind of going over how the rc3 came about kind of some of the like stats things along those lines and then getting right out to the range the ridgeline facility in cadre awesome really incredible out there and we just happened to catch it in like peak fall so all the leaves are turning colors, beautiful range, really incredible. So of course started, crawl, walk, run, initially just working on getting good zeros on our guns. For this event, we were basically shooting Bravo Company, BCM, 11 and a half inch guns, and on them people either had, well, largely some sort of aim point. And then of course the new Surefire RC3. So initially working the zeros, starting I think probably like 25 yards, 50, finally going back to 100 and just making sure everyone had good, confident zero so that we could move on from there. Through that day one, we largely just kind of started layering on skills, just adding more and more complexity and getting to shoot through some different drills. To include a whole block of instruction, basically shooting off and around both barricades as well as just random objects. Really cool facility where they had kind of a prop line all kinds of different things you'd find that you would potentially be shooting off. up that first day went on a little run and gun competition which was a blast putting everything together and yeah, putting it on the clock I want to say my time was around like 4 30 4 32 or something like that like you're moving that entire time but it was so much fun to include shooting at moving targets my buddy Luke from TFB TV I think he beat me by I think maybe 10 seconds. Good on you, Luke. One shot each, two rounds count.
overall awesome first day out there and yeah getting to actually spend time behind that rc3 which was really cool that second day day two started off a little slower fortunately got to sleep in catch up on some of that sleep from my first night there and after kind of a late start we ended up going up to team o'neill so if you're unfamiliar team o'neill has a rally school up in northern new hampshire really cool basically a sister school to ridgeline and yeah they teach rally driving really awesome basically yeah, got to work in these the ford fiestas manual front wheel drive and just start to work through the fundamentals of rally driving largely left foot braking and yeah, being able to basically drive like power and brake to get through turns and then some kind of skill building just working through those techniques eventually moving past that part we got in some pretty fun stuff basically breaking into three different groups and you would take turns kind of around robin working on different skills one of which was j turns again lots of fun all right all right full speed full power all right it's all on you go 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 don't lift Flip. money very nice you even got your blinker on and another one was doing pit maneuvers, which is awesome. Basically driving up behind that lead car, getting in the sweet spot, turning in and spinning them out and driving on past. That's why you keep your hands in the fucking ride at all times. I saw the white whale. <laughs> And then we got to drive with an actual rally driver. Amazing. Flying through this course and he's just like, oh yeah, and then I'm doing this, this, talking super conversationally. And you are flying through this like one lane dirt road in the mountains. Incredible. And wrapping up our time there with Team O'Neill, basically a little race course. Largely compiling everything we had worked on up to that point, whether it's the turns or going through a slalom, J-turn backing up, all that stuff. Really fun. And since that basically brought us to dusk, it was time for dinner and heading back over to Ridgeline to do some more shooting. Over at Ridgeline, we got to not only see how the RC3 does at night, which does impress really well, flash, but get to do a bunch of shooting to include with those turbo lights. So up on the hillside, steel going out to like 500 yards, 600 yards, something like that. And movers at, I wanna say around 150, another one around 300 yards. And yeah, basically you get to go through that prop line with all those different, whether it's rocks, vehicles, things like that. And yeah, kind of a guns free, like get after it, stretch the legs on those BCM 11 fives. That right there, wrapped up day two, headed back, crashed out so we could wake up, get back after it for one more day. That last day on the range, it was awesome. Number of different factors. On the one hand, awesome group of people there that we were basically shooting with, like all the media people there could shoot and they were all just good guys. And so with that, you had a baseline skill level that was pretty high. And then on top of that, awesome cadre that are like, oh cool, like you guys probably aren't gonna shoot each other in the back of the head, like let's do more things. So getting to just layer more and more complexity and starting off the day basically shooting from moving vehicles, which was so much fun. Basically getting to run down kind of a different, I guess we'll say scenarios in a way or drills, probably a better term, and shoot through it. Run. 
can by the end of the day, basically partnering up with someone and working through more and more complex trails. For my own part, I ended up actually partnering up with my buddy, Tom Marshall, gun rider, who, crazy enough, I actually used to contract with back in the day over in Afghanistan. And yeah, really fun getting to run through those drills with him. To include at the end, basically going through Hogan's Alley. It was an epic time out there on many different fronts. On the one hand, incredible group, both Team O'Neill as well as Ridgeline group out there, great training, amazing facility, and fortunately just a great group of people that I was there with, all the guys from different media outlets, writers, videos, stuff like that. Really cool. And I really appreciate Surefire's approach to a product launch where rather than like, hey, Here's a PowerPoint, let me tell you about it. Like, awesome. Now, it's, hey, what's a meaningful way that we can get the product in your hands and use it in a way that actually gives you experience so you can actually speak to it. To that end, whether it's the turbo nights, like using that turbo light in and around vehicles, things like that, being able to push that high candela beam past, or like this, getting time on those Bravo Company guns, 11.5s with, yeah, Surefire RC3, which as a quick aside, I think we maybe lubed those guns twice over the course of those three days. I'm pretty sure I put at least 1,500 rounds through, which, yeah, it's a testament unto itself. And I will say the RC3, it's actually really incredible, like a meaningful, large improvement from the RC2. Super incredible, like that low back pressure, getting almost nothing out. And you notice a couple places. One, shooting them side by side. Shooting the RC2 versus the RC3, especially left-handed, like you will feel that gas coming back. Massive reduction in gas. And the other place that is actually really noticeable is honestly just dropping the mag. You, if you're shooting suppress, you drop the mag and it usually looks really dirty versus shooting that RC3, significantly just less material coming back. Like, really incredible what they were able to do. And on top of that, you're getting a can that largely, you put it on any gun, especially a gun that is not having an adjustable gas block, like you can't tune it, and you're not gonna just beat the gun to death because you, know, you have less back pressure. But looking forward to actually getting more time in it with it, especially being able to shoot it at night with my camera out in front of it see what kind of like flash mitigation you're getting and yeah i just didn't have the opportunity because the whole line was firing but eventually hopefully i'll get a chance to do that too overall incredible time out there and if you're looking for a super durable low back pressure can and i say super durable quick side with suppressors everything is a compromise, just like rifles for that matter. You're like, oh, I need this 11.5. And then you're gonna try and shoot at distance. Like, eh, maybe a 16, 18, or 20 inch barrel might serve you better, depending on the velocities you're looking for. Same with suppressors. So what's your concern? Durability, sparking, flash, sound, like all of those, all of those come at the expense of something else. But to the end of like mill hard use, flash mitigation, RC3 is pretty cool. And as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.
Tell me if this can's hot real quick. Alrighty. Now we do that quarter second case.